Student, I am taking Mr. Iman's book from the International Office of Turiba University on a live video call to support my um, uh, communication with you, support my discussion with you and my counseling session. Uh, Iman, thank you for joining with us uh, for a, such a short notice. Um, welcome to uh, Study in Latvia Center webinar. Uh, this is all about the all the problems and all the communication gaps students are facing. So I was doing a session, you know, uh, about how to manage the application process for uh, Latvia for different universities. And I thought it would be good for students also to understand what exactly they should do from the university point of view. So welcome joining us. Thank you. Yeah, good afternoon. And I'm really happy to see you and uh, announce this, this information for all prospective students. As everyone in the world, I would say, we also have some kind of isolation, but I'm at the moment, I'm in the, my office. And uh, uh, regarding the admission, uh, everything is going on on the, the, the regular base. We are open for new registrations. And what we suggest to students, if we compare with the previous time that they uh, we suggest them to apply as soon as possible because during this the lockdown of, of every country there might be some delays to receive some documents from officials to sending those documents to review those documents and our suggestion is apply even right now that's just the middle of the april and uh, if some students think that until the september october there is still a lot of time we suggest to do it now because when the, the lockdown will be over then even the uh, public institutions where you have to request any kind of documents will be crowded with the re requests and there might be a long queue to, to receive those documents if you compare with the regular time thank you months absolutely you're right and this is what exactly i was trying to tell students that this is the time to do your paperwork so iman you have uh, already informed it said that you are processing the application does this mean that turiba university and other latin universities uh, maybe i can put this together uh, everybody is working from home and you are actually processing the application at the back side yes we we are doing and we're receiving applications still in even in this this time it's already the fourth week in latvia where it's a lockdown and it extended for an extra four weeks hopefully it will be over because the situation becomes more moderated and and uh, i hope in a month it will be or month and half it will be over but we working online all the applications we receive online uh, we can uh, forwarding all the documents to our uh, public authorities by, by emails and using all e-governments uh, tools, what we have in Latvia a lot. And, and actually, from Latvia point of view, there is not many changes with these lockdowns, just because majority of, of public services already was online. Also, universities uh, very quickly turned to distance learning where we continue our, our, our studies for current students online. They use the different uh, tools uh, for the online lecturing and, and exams. Uh, I would say this, this crisis show up the, the good benefit for such small countries and, and uh, E-orientated, uh, electronically orientated countries like Latvia, that everything is, is possible. And the, this investment, what our government, banks, uh, universities, companies did in the past for this moving to internet, uh, we see right now the very huge benefit of that because we turn in this, this quarantine very quickly and without feeling many uh, problems is that. Great. So I think now our audience is very well aware that Turiva University from Latvia basically is uh, accepting the application and they are also processing the application for the bachelor's and master's program. Students, I would like to add here, Turiva University is one of the uh, biggest private universities in Latvia and uh, also hosts uh, the second biggest numbers of Indian students, uh, Asian students, I would say, from uh, Asian countries. And uh, the tuition fee, average tuition fee in Turiba University starts from 3,000 euros for bachelor's and master's program. Turiba University offer you uh, the program in the field of business hospitality. Uh, Iman's coming back to the main point again, the admission visa thing. I think a lot of audience were asking me 
how the admission and visa process work. So maybe we can do a quick timeline, which will give an information to a student, how much time does it take to process the application in Latvia. So let's suppose say, I'm a potential student. I want to apply for Kuriba University today. Uh, my application has been sent to Kuriba, let's say today evening. From today onwards, how much time you will take to send me um, uh, the, the uh, interview link and uh, a test. I, I believe you have an online test also, right? Yes, we have online tests as soon as students apply online and upload all the requested documents. We need uh, the educational documents uh, and we need a passport and, and CV. Students receive an automatically generated link to the entrance exams. We uh, request to pass a test in English and the test in social science if students apply for the majority of our programs, business, tourism, communication, or math if students apply for IT. When the student pass this test, and it's again, students have to monitor their own time when they are ready to do that. Then we fix a time for Skype interview if students pass both tests, English and the, the, the professional test. Uh, it could take a week or two because also it's, it's up to students' timing when they are ready to pass the tests and then they have to schedule a Skype interview. Let's so say, it's, I would say it takes two weeks. Yeah, so let's say 15 days. So now at the 15th day, I have passed my test, I have done my Skype interview, and on the 15th day, let's say Turiba University will send my documents to AIC, which is the education ministry office where the all foreign student documents goes for verification. Am I right? This is how it works? Yep, yeah. Okay. So yep. uh, post that, uh, how much is the average time you will see in the summer time it takes for AIC to evaluate a foreign student document before you can issue a final admission letter? I would say that the summer usually is most crowded time for this institution. And what we have to pay attention right now, and what we have to pay attention now, is that uh, there is a cases when this AIC request information from the partner country, from the country of the origin of the documents, with, with an information what they need from this, this country's ministries or consuls. In this situation it takes more time because uh, we uh, exactly don't know uh, how the works institutions in other countries in your case it could be in indian authorities to confirm some some uh, things regarding the documents i would say we have to count something like 45 days for right. the the from i see that's what I was about to say. So 45 from here, 15 from the first one, the interview one, we'll come, we come at 60 days. After 60 days, Turiba University will issue a, a student agreement and basically an invoice for the tuition fee payment along with the confirmed admission letter. Now let's say this has been done. So let's average amount of time. Let's say student normally take 15 days to uh, three days to transfer the tuition fee to Turiba, you know, when students take, take their own time, they work with their own pace. So can I say, in total, before the Turiba has a tuition fee, we are talking about 60 plus 30, 90 days now. Is it? Yes, it's, of course, it's also up to students' timing, but uh, I, I, would, yeah, I would agree with you, but by, uh, based on our previous experience, of course, we always ask students to do the things on their side as mm -hmm. soon as possible. But uh, in this current situation, it's also not depending only from the students. It's also from the, the bank office hours and from the, the public authorities multiple, in India. Multiple issues, I would say, because of multiple reasons, multiple countries, multiple requirements. We are now yeah. setting 90 days. So students, now we are setting on 90 days and we have just paid the tuition fee to Turiba. So remember, the day you apply the admission, and the day you give the tuition fee, we are talking about average 90 days. Then we come that uh, student, let's say Turiba got a tuition fee, I believe within the three, four days time, Turiba will send the, um, the uh, uh, Turiba will apply for the invitation letter for the student. If he, start, if he need the visa, I believe most of the, our audience is a non-European students. So then Turiba will make the invitation letter. How much time does it take for the Turiba to make the visa invitation letter for the student? Yeah, again, based on our previous experience, it takes one week, maximum two weeks, 
we are right now we we don't have an experience if it will happen during the, the lockdown but by our previous experience it takes up to week in some cases two weeks if there is a necessity to to add some additional information let's right. count one yeah. plus week i'll add 90 plus 10 i'm going to make it 100 days and after that this then this document is sent to student by electronic format i believe so in all over the yep. Yep. doesn't matter yep. which we uh, Nepal, wherever yes yes so and then we inform about the invitation and of course then starting the visa procedure and also we have to another thing in the current situation we have to pay attention on another thing it's not only about the, the students who is applying for studies for the upcoming study year also uh, many students from the current students went back to home to their families during the crisis also they have to come back for studies which means the embassy will be most yeah. probably more crowded for some period and students have to pay an attention on that that there will be some more waiting time for a for an appointment so students basically we are standing at the moment at the 100 days and your visa invitation have arrived to you now from the 100 days onwards you will have to go to a vfs center or you have to approach the latvian embassy depending upon where you are if you are a student in india or you have to go to vfs center but if you're a student in um, you know other countries like in gulf countries or uh, somewhere else in china every student who are living in uh, different countries have different format of making the visa application now imagine let's say if i make an application to vfs first of all i have to let's i'm taking an example of indian student for uh, in general the students have to basically make an appointment with vfs which means that they're going to lose around about 15 days you know from from the 100 days so i can i say two weeks from there and once they make the visa application another two weeks for the visa processing so we are talking yep. about 30 yep. days right so 30 days and 100 become 130 days to round this up completely uh, if, you know because i have to take the buffer of delays and other other, other things which are going to delay the whole process can i say it's going to be 150 days entire visa process will that be correct uh yes i i would say yes if we uh, include all the waiting times some possible delays then yes that's true Students, uh, I had been always, you know, vocal about the visa admission process for Latvia, and it takes approximately four and a half months to five months to uh, complete from start uh, starting point to the ending point. So it's very important you have to understand. It's the month of April 2020, and if you want to apply for September intake, this is the time you have to apply, and that's only when you can able to supply, uh, make the uh, visa application for September intake. Iman, do you think the people who will apply now in the lockdown are the ones who will be able to make it for the visa in September 2020, or you think uh, they have more time right now? No, I no no. I I would say that if they start all the application procedure right now, then they will be those students who will be on time for studies. They will receive a visa on time without uh, delays, and uh, they have to right now again pay an attention on another thing if they will delay the time when they start their application they might delay for the studies the lockdown won't be so for so long time and they my, my suggestion is not to waiting when the countries will be opening start great. your application right now great i think the audience will have a very clear picture that you know now it's a 150 days process students and if you want to apply for Latvia, not only now it's not about lockdown it's not about the september 2020 whenever you want to apply for Latvia, you have to be very clear that it takes approximately 150 days we're talking about four and a half to five months and for certain students for certain nationalities i want to be very clear that it may take an extra time also uh, specifically, if you're uh, applying for Nigeria, African countries, uh, the visa process is a bit different. Uh, we always are here to help you up. So, Iman, um, uh, uh, anything else you want to add in this entire process? Any kind of a message you want to give to students who are thinking to come to Kuriba for the coming intake? Yeah, uh, well, what we suggest to students, one is an application, but when you are considering about the, the studies abroad, just pay an attention on that, what I said at the beginning of our, our conversation, that 
the, the Latvia is very small, but actually very uh, digital country. And also universities provide all these digital tools for, for studies. The current students didn't lose any lecture uh, since this, this crisis is coming. And uh, we working all the universities, the businesses, uh, government working in a normal way, just on the digital level. And that shows that sometimes a big countries, even in, in Europe, in the uh, United States, there is a lot of difficulties. They have to close schools or, or even universities just because there is no digital solution for that. In Latvian case, even a school is operating online. All the school kids uh, study online from the first grade to the 12th grade. And that shows how we can solve and how we can uh, find a quick solutions in such global crisis. And, and uh, I would say it it's could be a smart decision to choose not only the university, but also the country where are you going, how they uh, go out from, from such situations. Right. Iman, thank you so much. Just one last point of the one thing I have to discuss. It has been eight years we have been associated with you. How was your experience in working with study in Latvia Center uh, in, in person uh, as a Tulipa University? Yes, it's, uh, it seems that we are working for centuries already together. Okay. And uh, yes, that, that's the feeling. And uh, honestly, the, if I compare uh, my experience to working with uh, different agents than the Latvian Center and in the European, that uh, is a more wider cooperation. It's not only about the completing uh, students' applications and, and doing the, the regular work what the agents do, but also to add uh, an extra value, which is uh, the common uh, work on developing of, of students' selection of the application procedure, a lot of exchange of information about the countries and uh, let's say the, the, the cooperation to find the best solution for the students uh, in general, not like for, for single cases, but in general. And that's, uh, I, I really appreciate about such cooperation and uh, that shows the, the long-term uh, partnership and, and uh, friendship actually. Thank you, Iman. Thank you so much. Thanks for your position words. Uh, student, that was Mr. Iman Sberg from Turiba University. In case you want to study in Latvia, I can strongly recommend that Turiba University is one of the topmost universities in the country. You can also visit Turiba University website, look for the courses. And in case you have any more informa information you required, you can contact Study in Latvia Center uh, at your disposal. Thank you so much, Iman. Thanks a lot for the, joining us.